गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड द न्यू लेशन दैट इज क्लास एट ज्योग्राफी लेशन पोएम कंपोज बाय जुल्फिकर घोष दिस पोएम इज कंपोज बाय जुल्फिकर घोष नाउ लेट अस लेट अस नो अबाउट द पोएम About the poet, <coughs> Zulfikar Ghos was born on 13 March 1935 in Sialkot, Punjab, British India. That time, <coughs> it was undivided. He is a Pakistani-American novelist, poet, and essayist. He is a resident of Texas. His works are primarily magical realism blending with fantasy and harsh realism. This poem you are going to read is based on the poet's own journey experiences and observations through open window while he was flying in the sky. Dear students, you may have seen the aeroplane flying in the sky if you will go in the sky you will see from there down what you will see what the city looks like from there we will know in this story in this poem let us see Have you ever imagined how a city look like from the sky? Okay. When you go in the sky and look down from different altitude, you will find the description of earth and cities like here described in the poem. One by one I will uh, this poem has three stanzas and one by one I will describe it. first let us know the theme of the poem what is the theme of the poem as i told you earlier that this poem has been composed by zulfi kar ghosh the poem is about the way earth looks from different altitudes it is divided into three parts from there from the certain height in the sky the city grows unplanned when you go 10000 feet above you will see that water attracts human beings to grow civilization and from above 6 miles we come to know water is more than land the poet is upset to see borders to create fences and to see that people hate each other for shallow reasons now first stanza of the poem dear students first i read it out after that you will also read in your book textbook then we will see the paraphrase When the jet sprang into the sky it was clear why the city had developed the way it had See, seeing it scaled 6 inches to the mile there seemed an inevitability about what on ground had looked haphazard unplanned and without style when the jet sprang into the sky see here the first line is first line is repeated okay <clears throat> now we will see the paraphrase of each line in the first stanza of the poem the poet describes his city he tells us how it appears from the window of an aeroplane it is clear that the city developed as just as it was necessary for the people 
सो वॉट लुक्ड हैपजार्ड ऑन ग्राउंड लुक्ड एंड प्लान फ्रॉम द स्काय हियर इफ यू आर ऑन द डाउन इफ यू सी द सिटी यू विल फाइंड सम स्टाइल बट वेन यू गो इन द स्काय फ्रॉम देयर यू लुक डाउन यू विल फाइंड दैट द सिटी इज डिवलप totally unplanned unstyled so what the city is here you look it is totally different from the sky you will see the city houses in the city only 6 inches high so the poet is surprised to see the way city is developed now in the second stanza we will see again we read this uh, stanza of the poem and you try to read in the same way <coughs> okay when the jet reached 10000 feet it was clear why the country had cities where the rivers ran and why the valleys were populated the logic of geography that land and water attracted men was clearly delineated when the jet reached 10000 feet again the same first line of this stanza is repeated in the last line the poet is now 10000 feet above from there he sees his country he found now let us see the meaning of this second stanza the poet describes the logic of geography in the second stanza now the plan rises to a height of 10000 feet the poet can see the logic of geography he can see why the cities in the country have grown along the rivers the valleys are populated for the same reason it is land and water together that attracts the people the poet wants to tell you that from there the poet can understand the logic of geography he says that the countries have grown along the rivers means the necessity of people can fulfill near the water resource that is why now in place of river there is there are cities you will also find the valleys are populated thick population but the poet also says land and water together that attracts the people means in the past you will find the civilization grow near the water resource that is the logic the poet understands in the second stanza when he was on the height of 10000 feet dear students let us see the third stanza of the poem when the jet rose 6 miles high it was clear that the uh, it was clear the earth was round and that it had more sea than land but it was difficult to understand that the men on the earth found causes to hate each other to build walls across cities and to kill from that height it was not clear but at last in the third stanza of the poem the poet says when the jet rose 6 miles high from there when he looks down he found that the earth is round and he also finds that the earth has more sea than land two fact comes out from these three lines what that earth is round and second 
द लैंड इज लेस देन वाटर सी इज मोर देन लैंड मीन्स वी आर लिविंग ऑन दिस अर्थ दैट इज ओनली वन नोट डिवाइडेड फ्रॉम देयर यू कैन नॉट सी द मेनी कंट्रीज फ्रॉम देयर यू विल सी ओनली वन लैंड वन अर्थ बट वाट ऑन अर्थ वी आर डूइंग दिस मेक द दिस मेक्स द पोएट अपसेट द पोएट इज सेंग दैट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड मेन ऑन अर्थ फाउंड कॉजेज टू हेट एंड किल ईच अदर वाई डू पीपल फाइट विदाउट रीजन If they fight, having any reason, that is the selfish reason. People are killing each other. People are building walls across cities. Cities means here countries. You will find, you will hear the people saying, "This is India. This is Pakistan. This is America. This is China," and we are. making walls to divide countries but the poet is saying from that height the earth is only one so there is no cause there is no reason to build walls to make division from that height this region is not clear to the poet so the poet is very upset and poet tells you to find reason for that now in the third stanza what does the poet find poet finds more sea than land when the plains again we see the meaning of the third stanza when the plain rises a uh, six miles up the earth looks round from there it is clear that the earth has more sea than land the poet has one question remains uns- uh, unanswered it is difficult to understand why people hate and kill one another why the people builds walls to divide the land whereas it looks one from there from that height now dear students you finish this text poem now let us see the difficult meaning of this poem that is glossary in every table meaning is that cannot be avoided delineated means sown A spring this is the past form of spring A spring means jump go up have hazard without plan or order A scaled this is past form used as verb meaning is to climb to the top of hillary was the example we can see Hillary was the first known to have scaled Mount Everest. Okay. Now let us see the poetic devices in the poem. The following poetic devices have been used by the poet. First is alliteration. In the alliteration, the similar consonant. sound is repeated in the same line now here you see seeing it scaled 6 inches to the mile in this line s s s is repeated that is why it is alliteration in the second line is sprang into the sky now you find s a spring as sky the rhyming pattern of the poem is a b c d b c d a you will find in the 
book you see and uh, first line should be a second line b third line c and fourth line d again it will become reverse fifth line b then c then d then a now third is imagery you will find walls symbolize borders and cities symbolize countries as i told you and one more thing one more uh, poetic device is used in the poem that is repetition you will find the first line is repeated in the last line in every stanza let us see the summary of the poem when the jet climb up in the sky the views of the earth make clear that the city grows as per necessity without proper planning the city looks 6 inches from a certain height revealing its true structure when the jet climbs higher up to about 10000 feet he comes to know that civilization grows near the water resources to fulfill its necessity when the jet goes above 6 miles there is more water than land on earth the poet is unable to understand the tendency to build borders to create fences for selfish regions he found the earth to be one but not the people living on earth means people are not living together they found some regions to hate each other they found some regions to kill each other they are shedding blood of one another that is why the poet is saying that the earth is divided for selo regions the poet says we have learned much about the earth its shapes the emergence of cities and nations but we fail to learn love and fraternity now what does the striking ideas come in the poet's mind from the height of the sky is this questions you have to find the answer why do people hate and fight second question is why do people believe in destruction you know that people believe in destruction they are cutting trees they are replacing cities they are replacing um, rivers with cities in the place of river you will find now cities are growing they are cutting trees they are making new roads new buildings concrete forest you will find in the place of forest natural forest so uh, it means the poet is saying that people believe in destruction now the poet is giving you message through this poem what does the poet mean to message us we should love each other help each others and we should not have narrow mindedness this is the reason root reason to kill and to fight the poet is also saying that earth is one so don't divide it to make countries believe in togetherness love and fraternity dear students after completes completing the selection now we have some assignment only three questions you have to answer what is the moral of the poem okay you will write the answer second question is 
why did the poet raise questions in the last stanza and third what do you understand by logic of geography okay make this world beautiful and better place to live on preserve nature for generation to come so in the last smile and let others smile thank you have a nice day